first guest tonight from 12 seasons of her hugely popular show, The Big Bang Theory. Now she's earning Emmy nominations and frequent flyer miles on The Flight Attendant. Season two premieres Thursday on HBO Max. Please welcome Kaylee Cuoco. <laughs> Very good to see you. It's so good to see you. You look fantastic. Thank you. How was Easter? Did you celebrate? Did you have a thing? Easter was awesome. Got yeah. to be with the family. Nice. Yeah. Uh, got a couple new rescue animals to add to the. You did. I did. I have a picture of. I you think do? one of them. Okay. Yeah. What did Let's you have? Let's put it up. Why not? Let's get okay. right into it. This is a. <laughs> do you know what that is, Jimmy? I, I know what that is. It's a zonkey. It's a combination of a, a zombie and a donkey, <laughs> it's right? A zombie. <laughs> yes, that is a zombie slash donkey. <laughs> yes, I rescued a zonkey yesterday. I like that. I like that. It's ins I'm insane. I'm they represent insane. some kind of illicit love where the, the zebra got it. Do you know if the mom is a donkey or? I know nothing. You it has know. zebra yeah. legs and yeah. a donkey body. And it, it goes, Nyah. it makes it like a donkey. Mm -hmm. So I think it's got a little more donkey in it. With a little the, more donkey. A little yeah. more donkey, a little less zebra. Yeah, because zebras are quiet, so I think any amount of donkey is going to overwhelm the zebra. Yes, she's, ve she's very loud, but her name is, um, is Zonkey. Where'd you get her? We rescued her. She was actually coming from a very bad uh, situation, and I dove in. My team got her, and we, we got her last You have a zonky team? I have a zonky team. <laughs> There's always a team. Everyone has an agent. Even that zonky, she has a full team. Um, yeah, we got her here, and now we're adding her to my, I have a lot. How I many so, do you have so now? So many. I, I don't think I'm allowed to say, because I think it is actually at hoarding level. Oh, really? And I am afraid they're going to come take them away Is it from more me. than 20 animals? Yes, I would say it's more than 20. Oh, yes. oh so easily more than And a lot, five. all farm animals at this point. Uh -huh. I'm just loving the farm an animals and the, the mixes, like the zonkey. Yeah. <laughs> and does the zonkey lay eggs or anything? No, the zonkey. No. <laughs> no, you would have thought I would have gotten a rabbit this weekend, but no, I went with a zonkey. Yeah. I think rabbits are popular. It's next weekend where you're going to get a lot of rabbits. Yeah, that is true. That is true. That's true. By the way, I wanted to mention yes. you were very funny on Curb Your Enthusiasm. Oh, my God. Which is, uh, <laughs> and, Thank you. I don't know how you felt about it, but that for was me, being you. on that show, which I was lucky enough to be on once, was like, I don't know, it, it was like such a thrill to be asked Wasn't to be on it? the show. Isn't yeah. it such a bucket list moment? Yes. When I got the call for that, obviously, you know, the show's been on for many years, and I, I, I was just dying to get on it. Some, I would have played a tree. I didn't care what I played. I wanted to get on it. So one night, my entire team called me, and you know that's either really good or really bad when your whole team calls. Is this the Zonky team? This or is, is this the... <laughs> a different. This is a different team. Okay. All right. This is my team. They called, and we were all on speakerphone. I was in my car, and they all at the same time said, "You're going to be on Curb," and I, I literally cried. I mean, it was such a special moment. I was so excited, and I said, "Well." What am I playing? Like, am I playing myself? They're like, we have no information, but you're playing an optometrist. And I right. was like, okay, now this was months in advance, so I figure, I, look, we know the show is improv. Everybody knows that, right? But I kind of thought there would still be, like, a script. Yeah. Or, like, some sort of map uh -huh. as to what. So weeks went on, and I still have gotten no script, and no one has called me. And a few nights before we, I have to shoot, I call my team, like, guys, no one has sent me a script. Like, I don't know. They're like, there's nothing. There's no script. You just go. And I'm like, what does that mean? Like, I, I'm not an optometrist. Like, I don't know what I'm supposed to. I mean, I could have, like, Googled it, but, you know, an actor obviously does not prepare. And so I got to set, and I found out when I got there, I was playing Vince Vaughn's girlfriend. So mm -hmm. I had no clue. Um, and Vince was great, so I only shot two days. They didn't even tell you that. Didn't know anything. Although, I, I feel like maybe someone told me that, but it just went right out one ear and not the other. Uh -huh. Didn't even remember. So I was like, oh my God, I'm playing Vince's girlfriend. And he was great. He, you know, he's obviously he's done the show. He's funny in the show, yeah. Oh, so great. So he made me feel very comfortable. And the next day, I was working with Larry. And I was so nervous. I still no script. And I get there, and I'm in this optometrist office, and I'm dressed like an optometrist, and Larry's not there yet. And I'm thinking, does Larry even know, like, did he hire me? Like, does he know, I, I, am I talking in this? Like, I had no clue what was happening. So he comes in, and he introduced himself on Kaylee. He goes, yes, I'm so glad you're here. And he was so nice. And they're like, OK, we're going to roll. And I'm like, I, I, I'm sorry. I looked at Larry. I'm like, Larry, I have no idea what I'm doing. And he goes, I never know what I'm doing. And I said, well. <laughs> 
said, but I'm not an optometrist. <laughs> and he goes, well, I'm not an actor. And I said, this is going great. <laughs> so I said, OK. I said, so what do you want me to do? He's like, just kind of talk about eyes. And I'm like, talk about eyes? Like, what? And if you've seen the episode, it's not really a spoiler. I'm supposed to have these pirate booty. At the end of the episode, I'm supposed to drop the pirate booty. So I said, when do you want me to, to, to drop the pirate booty? Because, again, no script. He goes, eventually. <laughs> and I'm like thinking, I'm in my own episode of Curb in My Brain. I'm like, what does eventually mean with these people? Mm -hmm. Is that 10 minutes from now? Is that five seconds? I had no idea. <laughs> so I did what I thought I could do. I tried to talk about eyes uh -huh. and dropped the pirate's booty. And we did a couple takes. And, and Cheryl Hines is on your show now, right? Yes, yeah. yes. I did want to mention that. So Cheryl Hines is on Flight Attendant. And I actually texted her uh -huh. the night before I was going to work with Larry. And I said, can well, you give me know. any yeah. advice? What do I do with Larry David? What do, how do I know I'm doing a good job? And she goes, well, I shouldn't tell you this. That's how she talks. I shouldn't. I love her. I, I shouldn't tell you this. <laughs> She's mini mouse. She's like, if, if Larry is very happy with you and you had a great experience, he will give you a hug at the end of your shoot day. Now, this was during the height of COVID. I mean, we're kind of still in it, right? Yeah. yeah but this but was height. height yeah. And Larry is also a little bit of a germaphobe. So I was like, I don't know if I'm I'm going to be getting a hug today. Like, things, this is already, I'm already batting, they're batting against me. Why would she tell you that? I know. That's horrible. a terrible thing to hear. I know. God, I hate Cheryl. Hunt. <laughs> <laughs> I'm realizing that right now. So now, now I'm waiting for the hug. Yeah, right. It's COVID. No one wants to touch anyway. And then I'm thinking, oh my God, if I don't get a hug, I got to get a picture with Larry David. I was too afraid to ask him for a picture. I was just an idiot. And I'm <laughs> thinking, he doesn't want to be, he may not even know who I am. So at the very and we wrap, and I'm like, you got to get that hug, man. You got to get in there. And I walked over, and I was really heartfelt. I said, Larry, I don't think you understand. Like, people come on your show. This is a big deal for us. And he said, it was so nice to have you. And he gave me a big hug oh, during God. COVID. Thank goodness. That could have been disastrous. It could have been bad. <laughs> Kaylee Cuoco is with us. Her show is The Flight Attendant. Why are we in a parking deck? The office picked it for your convenience. I would have picked Hollywood Park off-track betting. Oh, you're a gambling man. I'm learning little bits and pieces about you. There's a photo of you, Mark, in Berlin. His name is Will Kotov. OK, we've been handling an asset for a few months now. Shouldn't I know just a little more about you? No. So we would like you to observe him on site at the hotel only. Did you catch that last part? Yeah. Oh, look at me, please. I look at you. On site, in the hotel only. That means do not follow, do not engage. Do not follow, do not engage. Got it. That's Kaylee Cuoco and the flight attendant. Season two uh, premieres Thursday on HBO Max. This has got to be very fulfilling for you because it's one thing to be an actor cast yeah. in something, but you found this book, you loved the book, you optioned the book, as they say, yes. and then you turned it into a television show, and then you got nominated for a whole bunch of Emmys <laughs> and all this stuff. I still can't believe it. I, know. I can't believe it. I, I can't believe we got away with a season one, and then they let us do a season two. I, I definitely, I found the book. I really liked the cover of the book. <laughs> it had this, like, blonde woman, and I, I said, that could be me. And um, look at that. <laughs> Two seasons later, uh, I judged the book, and I won. <laughs> Yeah, I'm very proud of it. It's definitely been my baby for uh, for many years now, and I'm I'm I can't believe what we did. I'm very proud of it. You have uh, Sharon Stone plays your mom on this season of the show. Yes. How did that happen? That was amazing. So she was a fan of the show. She loved season one, and she heard we were casting my mom, and she actually called herself. She called casting and said, I'd love to do this. Really? Yes, and casting call and said, we had a voicemail from Sharon Stone, and she'd love to do this. And I was like, this can't be real. <laughs> this can't be real. I found out it was, and she wanted to do it, and we actually got in touch with each other. We sent some texts, and she's like, I, I just love the show, and I'd love to dive in. I said, this is unreal. And we did the deal, and all of a sudden, she was in front of me, and there was my mom. It was nuts. Nothing I had ever imagined would happen. Were you even planning to have your uh, character play your mom in the season to start with? Yes. No, we were. Okay, we just were. knew we wanted okay. to get someone super special. Gotcha. And we had these very intense scenes, like very. I think one of our scenes was like 10 minutes long. And she, it's very emotional. There's a lot of crying and a lot of this and that. And at the end, <laughs> we, at the end of the scene, before we started the scene, she sat me down and she said, hey, how do you feel about me? 
touching you in this scene, like touching you. And I said, whatever you want to do, Sharon, you are Sharon Stone. You, what you do is you do what you want to do. I'm just so happy you're here. She goes, great. So we do the take, and it's this very long emotional scene. And at the end of the scene, she's supposed to come up and say something very serious to me and walk out. She's supposed to say, I like you, but I don't love you very much. That's what she's supposed to say. So she says this line to me, and she grabs my face, and she whacks me. Oh. I know! Hard? And like, I, like for real? Oh, no, real. Uh-huh. Wow. And first of all, the reaction was about as real as you could get. Uh-huh. And my cameraman was right here, and he goes, No. Yes. And I, I have, like, snot coming down my eye, and I'm crying, and I'm, like, literally shaking, and they're like, cut! And no one moves. No one makes a sound. No one knows, is Kaylee happy? Did she tell Sharon to slap her? So Sharon comes back in. She goes, oh, my God, I love you. I didn't mean to do that. It just felt right for the scene. I said, that was <laughs> incredible. Like, whoa. Like, yeah. So she, I'm like, that was, I just got bitch slapped. <laughs> so, so I, I walk out. And I walk out, and the producers come up to me. They go, that was unbelievable. Like, but should we tell her, we got it. We don't need to do another take. Like, we got it. I said, listen, I'm going to bet money that woman's not slapping me again. She's not going to slap me again. Like, <laughs> we got the money take. That's, that's, that's her Emmy win right there. So they're like, so you don't want us to say anything? I'm like, no, do not tell Sharon Stone not to slap me. She's not going to do it again. So we do another take, crying. She comes up to me, and she wails on me again. <laughs> And they get another incredibly real reaction because I <laughs> just got slapped a second time. She comes back in. She's like, I'm so sorry. Just felt right. Mistake. And I'm like, and now everyone's like not looking at me. They're unsure. Like, did, did they talk about this? So I walk outside again. It's literally like Groundhog Day. I walk outside again and I'm kind of holding my face. And the team comes out again and says, we got it. We should say something. I'm like, Sharon Stone isn't going to slap me a third time. <laughs> Like, we got it. It wasn't even on me the last take. <laughs> the camera one wasn't my shit. It was not my close-up. So I'm like, she would never. <laughs> we do the take again. She gets right in there, and I'm literally, like, <laughs> looking at her, like, and I'm kind of going like this. And I'm like, just get in there, Kaylee. She's not going to slap you again. It's OK. It's OK. Get in there. She slaps me again. <laughs> Three times wow. I got slapped. Wasn't even on me in the third take. <laughs> so now I need to ice. And I'm like, oh, really? I walk out and she comes in and she was just, yeah, it was on my it was on my face. And I'm like, I understand, I understand. I'm like, can we wrap though? Because I think I'm ready to go. Um, I say that with love. It was insane. Yeah. But one of the best stories I have ever had. And yeah. the crazy part, real quick. You know, it wasn't written. I don't know if I mentioned that. This is yeah, not right. written. Yeah, right. So when the dailies came and the network and everyone watched, they're like, where did this slap come from? Like, uh -huh. we'd, I'm like, you better put that slap in. <laughs> because I did not get slapped three times to not put that in the show. Yeah. The slap has made the episode, and you will enjoy it in episode six. <laughs> and it, she was honestly one of the most wonderful people, though. And she Doesn't was Doesn't sound like one no, of the most was. wonderful. She Maybe was. in the. Maybe in the like second she 10 from 10 to 20. <laughs> Look, she got a real reaction and yes, so, it was yeah. as real as it could get. And yeah, she, yeah. Next yeah. season she's gonna run you over. Yeah. Be careful. <laughs> Uh, that's Kelly Cuoco. She's, uh, we need to talk to Kelly yeah. about her. Yes, you're a little too permissive, I think. Is the thing. <laughs> uh, season two of The Flight Attendant premieres Thursday on HBO Max. Uh, thank you again, thank Kelly. You. We'll be back with John Carlos Hi, I'm Jimmy Kimmel. I hope you enjoyed that video. Hit subscribe and all your dreams will come true, assuming your dreams are to watch more YouTube videos.